Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hong Kong Xi'an University Open Day Drama Performance by students from the Department of English Language and Literature. This year, we're honored to perform the play Jitters, written by Canadian playwright David French. The show is about to begin. Please turn off your mobile phones and other alarming devices. Thank you for your cooperation, and please enjoy the show. Don't be silly. 
stealing what? Will there be a prompter for this show? No, from tonight on, you're all on your own out there. If you get in trouble, you will have to rely on each other. Oh dear Georgia, tell me you don't mean it. I'm sorry, Phil, we just don't have to stop. Besides, the theater is so small. A prompter would be heard in the last room. You don't need a prompter. That's all in your head. You just got off work this morning. The other actors have been off work for two weeks. Georgia, I have long speeches in this play. If I stumble, I can skip ten pages and not know it. You want ten minutes off the running time? Phil, you worry too much. It's so bad. I was thought of taking deep reading. You're working yourself into the steel. I know. To look at me, you all think that I'm so relaxed on stage. If you only knew, Georgia. If you only knew, inside I'm a pulse rate of 140. Georgia, if Phil has recovered sufficiently, I would like to get the show on the road. All cast should be in position. I would like the stage clear. I'm sorry, Phil. We just have to do this another time. Just don't underestimate yourself. You are a pro. You bet your life I am pro. There's a limit, Georgia. There's a limit for what a man can do for art. I'm only human, Georgia. If you can afford me shoes, you can buy me a prompter. For the last time, can we please clear the stage? We can start in one minute. That's 60 seconds. I see I'm wasting my breath. Okay. Have me your way. I love this place so much, and if I mess up, I will never forgive you! Look, Georgia, hear me out. I can't afford to mess up. Bergman is my only hope. He's an American. 30 seconds! I may never get a break like this again, Georgia! That's all I'm saying! Ready? Action! What time is it?
you know, Jess never complains like that, even when the toll is burned. And still, has a corner of three in the morning. What? Well, just take her phone off. Yeah, she did. And two nights running, he called the guy next door. He said it was an emergency, her phone was off the hook, and could he run next door and tell her? Jesus, it is impossible. Uh, now, the guy next door has his phone off the hook. So, like, last night, guess what happened? What? At three or four in the morning, a piece of truck was up in front of her house. A piece of truck? Yeah, a piece of truck. She says if he gets any more smart ideas and sends an embryos, she will go even better and take it. Then she will be up a creek. Okay, thanks, Tom. Let's her get ready for the run through. Okay. A run through of the show will be in 20 minutes.
see? Did she tell you? The king took a swing at me last night? No. Elizabeth never mentioned. Huh? He thought he would drink me under the table. Come on. Thanks. Jimmy is going through a very difficult period. That better get over very fast, or he'll be in trouble. Frank, please. I'm in it, Lizzie. What Jimmy needs right now is understanding, not brute force. Is that so? Honey, let Eric handle this. He knows how to talk to Jimmy. Okay? What's that? What? Oh, no. I, I can't do it. Oh, I didn't like the kiss, I just can't do it. Petra, you can't keep starting and stopping like this. We will never get him to play. How come he doesn't get it? I noticed you didn't say he's interrupting. With him, we are starting and stopping. What's wrong with the kiss? I don't believe her. Listen here. I was doing leading ladies when you were failing to get through adolescence. So don't tell me how to wet. Let me tell you, the truth is, your last two body cars died in the first week. You haven't entered the fitness for two years. You are living the past, lady. Okay, take it easy. Let's just solve the problem and get back to work. We're running behind. What is it about the kiss you don't believe? First, the priest hates my guts. He resents the fact that we are living together. And now, after I've just insulted him, she was kissing me. Not only is it is unbelievable, it is modern. It's not modern. It's tender. It's perfectly in character. Well, it's, it's not in character for me to let you do. At the moment, Frank doesn't want to be touched, and it makes his skin grow. <laughs> we all make sacrifices, don't we? Personally, I would rather kiss a monkey. Now, let's get on with it. Yes, we're wasting time. Maybe there's another way to make the same point. Let's just cut the kiss and get on with it. Put your hand on his shoulder. Ooh, Ooh. Then we make the same point. Okay, guys, we are running behind. Let's begin from Jessica's Jimmy's home for the winter break.
Any sign of the others? Not yet, Pat. And what about Julia? She still hasn't come back from her dinner, but I've told her you wanted to see her. Okay. It must be late. One to eight.
This was from Anakin, not then the sign Percy. Who's Percy? I have an Evocius who is Anakin.
his first name, huh? Oh, I'm lost with names. Uh, oh, oh, it is on the tip of my tongue. They can't. I'm working on it. Just don't stand over me like that. I'm doing it in my way. I had lunch with Tom and Luigi on Tuesday, and he called a cheeseburger. And a friend Phil didn't care what he ate, just his father's name. I'm working up to it. And I ordered a egg sandwich on brown and a chocolate milkshake. And when we got our order, Tom said he had, he had a wedding to go to this afternoon. What did you say? I said, who is getting married? And he said? He said, he's an old man. Phil, we know that. Only he didn't say he's old man. They call each other by their first name. How often have you heard of father and son? Phil, the man, just the Ah, uh, I think it's uh, Percy. Uh. Percy? Oh gosh. Thomas, in the kid. In the kid? See for yourself. It must oh, be his. Right, in the I'll take this and call him right away. Uh, in the kid. How come in the kid? I'm waiting. Ooh. No answer. Okay then, Peggy, I have something important to say to the class and I want you to hear it. This concerns us all. Okay. Georgia, I hope it's about my shoes because they squeak. Phil, I have more on my mind right now than new shoes. I promise you have another pair for tomorrow. All right, class, we still haven't been able to locate Tom. I'm sure he will arrive any second, but just in case... Incredible, huh? We doesn't even can locate one lost actor. Phil, I need the full cooperation of every member of the cast. It's close to curtain, so time is precious. All right, cast. This show is going on tonight with or without Tom. Uh, really? What do you have in mind, Georgia? Listen, I intend to make an announcement. I'll go up on stage and explain that something has happened to the actor play Jimmy, and that's tonight. The playwright will step in. They will love it. I think you overestimate their goodwill, right? I know it's difficult. You're all professionals, and I know that you can rise to the occasions and turn this crisis into a trial. And let's not forget Bernie Falcon. He flew all his way to see this show. So, let's give him one. Let's give him the best performance he's ever seen. Yes, three cheers for the show. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Good show everyone. And 
what do we do now? Jiva use matches instead? No. Hey, she doesn't even wait for an answer.
mixtape inner struggle seem all the more urgent and has a dimension of humanity that endears him instantly to the audience. Oh no, he smiled at right up. The only disappointment in the cast is Jessica Logan as the doleful Elizabeth. Oh no no no, you are kidding, right? No, he hated her. No, she was wonderful. I, I won't say it in front of your face, but I mean it. And he liked Mr. Ruskies, and that proves what I've been saying all along about critics. Okay, go on, read the rest, Georgia. The fact remains that her performance is by far too large for such an intimate space. Almost wildly extravagant. She starts off at such a high emotional pitch. She has nowhere to go except into the upper ranges of hysteria. No, that's dreadful. Um, she will be devastated. Oh, go on, Georgia. For this, the director, George Ellsworth, must in part be faulted. Although otherwise her handling of the cast is exemplary, Miss Ellsworth has demonstrated in the past. Oh, don't tell me. A fine and delicate touch. A fine and delicate touch. An unobtrusiveness that is the hallmark of a first-rate director. The care and treatment of roses, quite simply, is the best new play to arrive all season. Keep it up. They didn't even mention the lighting, the set, or even the costume. The other papers are in the office. You want to read them? Um, what do they say? Basically the same thing. And then the answer is no. And to think of a lot of bad for that. <laughs> Where's Georgia? Ah, there you are. Stand up. I want to work with you. How are you? What can I? I won't wear this one more night, you understand? Would you wear it? No, you're right, you wouldn't. Take it back to the zoo where you found it. I play housewife in this play, a drag queen. I suppose you think I'm being nonsense. And you know why? I want you to be get treated like a human being. I see your point. What point? About being a nonsense. So, you think I'm a nonsense, do you? No, 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 no. I knew you did. No, I meant demanding. Oh, really? Yes, I think you're demanding. Why? Because I demand you to be treated like a human being. No, 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 no. Because... Just, I think I'm lost. What was I saying? Don't you know? Uh, did you change the subject? What was it? I don't remember. Uh, excuse me, everyone. I have to call my agent. I'm the only one who can have this. It cheers him up. Hmm. What's the circulation of the Toronto Star? You have any idea? Half a million? Half a million? Oh gosh, the many! So, half a million of people now who don't know my work now believe Jessica Logan to be wildly extravagant. What do you care about one or two critics? The audience adores you, they give you a standing ovation. To be the only one single out of her? To be drawn and quartered so brutally? Anyone who didn't know this better would think it was an opera. Forget about the critics with you. You're too good to take that garbage seriously. I don't take it seriously, Georgia. And I don't care what he thinks. But it still hurts. We spent weeks, months on a play that affect our livelihood and reputation. Can be ruined by the man who scribbled off 600 words. There's all the more reason not to take him so seriously. Who in his right mind would let you be praised? By a man of that. Bill Master Rockies. I thought you were calling your agent. No, I thought you know office of peace, you know, yeah. Well, don't you disparage Bill. At least he has respect for his F fellow actors. He would never deliberately make someone look bad. Oh, I agree. By comparison, he makes us look bad. Is that why you got graves? Oh, that's why I wonder why you didn't. 
Now, maybe in New York, you should play in that. That's it! I quit. I quit! I quit! I quit! I quit! You quit! As of right now, you have my resignation. If I think this very second. But I get out of my way. I'm in a very dangerous mood. Come on, no! Oh. Peggy, what are you doing here? Why aren't you up in the office? So is that it? I'm the feeling of the piece. Am I? Is that so? You know, I didn't mean it. I, I, I didn't know why I even said it. It's just, I, I was kidding. And she was just finding a way out. You know that, don't you? Then why give her one? You're an actor, Jesus. You should know how vulnerable she's right now. Listen, I'm the one who should be angry here. I'm the one that she used. You? Yes, she baited me. You hurt her. All I need was just real time and good actors. And I can just do anything that she wants. You again. Well, what, me? Yes, you! Get back 
to the white side. And don't tell me how late you are the long gap with this show. Listen, my dear, I've never walked out of a show in my life. We've still got a rehearsal to get through, so let's get it with me. Well, you heard the lady, we'll be starting as soon as Phil comes back. Thanks, Jess. Hi, guys. I heard it. What they said about you, Jessica, is disgusting. I will cancel my subscription to the Star Magazine. <laughs> this week of you, darling. Uh, but let's not get drastic. I'll tell you what you do. We'll be really. We'll all be really tonight. And get ready, family. Georgia, the rehearsal was called for 2 o'clock. Now it's 2 05. Okay, let's settle down. This will only take a minute. What we will do today is to start from the top. We'll run each scene individually and then work on it. How about costumes? No, just props. I also want to work on some lights and sand hills. Does anyone object to that? No, no then let's get this show on the road. Your mother doesn't have to wear her funny hair. Isn't it good news? Hey, Georgia, I need my adjustable light now, okay? And Georgia, I want to have a tinted glasses for tonight. It doesn't look right. A priest with a black eye. No, no, we'll work them in during the run. Nicole, I'm all set. What's this I hear about Spreadman? Are they kidding me or what? I'm afraid not, Phil. <laughs> beautiful. Just beautiful. First, the pants, then the shoes, and now Batman. Phil, we're running behind. 40 seconds. Georgia, there's a call for you online too. What is it, Peggy? Not now, I'm busy. It's Bernie Feldman. Feldman? What does he want now? Tell him to get lost. Let's not be rash. Maybe he has second thoughts. He wants to ask you and Jessica to dine with him tonight after the show. Tonight? What do you mean? It means he's here, in town, in the hotel. He's not in New York? No, and he said he has no idea who left this message either. So should I tell him yes? <laughs> yes! Yes! Tell him yes! Tell him I personally invest in the Broadway show! Just tell him we'd love to have dinner. I'll call him back within the hour. Okay. Oh, and... Bernie Fallon said to the cast not to worry about the review. He never read local critics. Oh, terrific. The best review of my life. But he didn't read that. <laughs> what a man of principles. Hey, I knew Bernie would never desert us. Georgia, I think we owe the these Whitman an apology. I don't understand. Who would like to play a stupid, statistic job like that? Maybe... Hmm. Flanagan! 